Hi, this is Drake, and today we are talking about recording presets on Martin MPC or Onyx lighting software. So presets allow you to quickly and efficiently record cues later on and update your cue stack without having to do a whole lot of work. It might take time in the beginning, but it's way worth it once you start getting into larger shows and more complicated cue stacks. So let's dive right in and look at presets. Okay, so as you saw in previous videos, we have our groups here. And this window down here, let's make these go away. This is our preset window. Now, these are the parameters that we can store of our presets. So we have intensity, number one, pan tilt, color, gobos, beams, beam effects, and framing. Some of these have framing shutters just like old school Lecos do. That's what this window's for. All right, now let's talk about recording an intensity preset. So we're going to go up here and we're going to select our LED par group, which again selected all eight of our LED pars. And we're going to bring up our programmer here. Now we're going to set our intensity to full. That has set the intensity to full for all eight fixtures. And we're going to record that to a preset. Now you can bring this guy up here, which has our record button. Or like this hardware has, we have a record button built in. So we're actually going to hit record on the hardware piece. It's going to bring up our record menu here. Now this gives you options like say you have color and intensity and gobos going all into your programmer, but you just want to save intensity, you would click intensity. In this case, we've only stored intensity into our programmer, so we, we could leave that blank. After you select what you want, you're going to click whatever preset button you want up here. So there's our first preset. It's I1 because for intensity one and it's the first uh, frame of our cell here. Uh, but we can always go edit, edit that, and we can make this 100 or LED par 100 is a better name for it. So that way we know what 100% we're controlling. We can also select our Viper that we have patched in by clicking 9. Go to intensity, full, record, store another preset there. So we can record presets for everything, not just intensity. So if we go to color here and we select our LED pars again, let's go to color and to show color, you have to give it an intensity. So let's give it a full intensity. Let's go to color and we're going to make it red. Now we're going to store the red color to our color bin. So we're going to hit record, we're going to hit color, so that way we're only recording color, and we're going to store it as preset 1. Clear, 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 clears it out, edit, click it, LED, par red. So now, if we click our LED pars here, we make our intensity at full by clicking our preset here, and then clicking our color red, our light is on, and the color is red. This is going to speed up your workflow a lot instead of having to use this over and over and over again. You can lay out all your colors that you want, red, green, blue, yellow, orange, purple, lavender, cyan, whatever, and you could be clicking through your colors quickly to store them to cues. So that is a basic overview of storing presets on Martin or Onyx software. If you want to see more in depth, make sure to check out our other videos.